Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about figuring out if you meet the requirements. So let's get into it. Do uh, The question in question was actually, Frederick, do you know of any services that tests programmers to see if they meet the requirements of professional grade software developers? <clears throat> well, no, I don't know any of uh, any service that can possibly do this I know that there's a lot of uh, companies who are pitching this of course and in many cases what their business model is about is to provide a streamlined and simple way for companies who don't have any clue how to test anybody on tech skills uh, to help them out to provide code tests usually uh, to candidates that's what they do yeah I actually have a very funny story where a company which one of my old managers used to work with they he is an actual programmer and uh, so he took just to check out their product he took one of their code tests and I made an implementation that was actually correct and the test system told him that it was incorrect but he could very clearly verify that it was right and he had started talking with one of the coders at that uh, that company who was providing all these code tests and so and then they spoke and then basically he said that yeah no it's been fixed now and then the CEO or the founder of that company actually reached out and tried to pretend like there was no issue and basically after saying that they they terminated the relationship and he still he, st he still kept quiet about it for those of you who may not think about it what would happen to that company can you do you imagine if it leaked out that they had an incorrect test assertion how many candidates have failed that process because their system was broken yeah food for thought anywho there is not really any way that I can tell you that anything besides that usually the companies are going to do one of two things in some cases they will do more than one thing but if you're looking for a way to kind of validate your own skills in in comparison to that of a professional working at a serious IT company the closest thing you can do is to go and do the code kata challenges, the coding code tests and the algorithmic problems and all that good stuff that is online. I mean all of it is out there you can go and just do it as much as you want and get really good at that stuff because the reason why I'm saying that you can do this uh, is because it is part in some cases I would say that there's usually a 50-50 split between whether or not you're gonna get algorithmic problems or if you're gonna get more soft skill related things or and in many cases other companies they do a more holistic thing where they look at one part your social skills one part your coding skills if can you build small applications can you do the whiteboard thing do you know how to design a system from an architectural perspective there are this, this is why you can't really find a, uni a unified way of figuring out where you are in comparison to the pros because each company will have their own reviewing process in many cases the laziest as I said the absolute laziest companies they will just have like a standard platform where they have a bunch of code tests that you you know implement a a sorting algorithm or solve this complicated problem or we have this graph of zombies and you can only pass a certain path or whatever like there's tons of these things <clears throat> I like to call them trivia questions which you kinda just have to deal with because the company as I said is either too lazy or wants to streamline the process and just create a simple way to get someone who knows something about coding uh, but apart from that I would say that if you feel as if if you go let's say for the sake of argument now that you have done this let's say that you've done all the code tests and you still want to get closer and closer to reality to what it is to actually rebuild serious projects and work at a professional capacity cap professional level I will say to you that I think that you should consider either finding a friend who wants some simple system built or maybe see if you can find some small startup or some client on like a, a freelancer website they just want something basic and then just build that thing it can be this cheap you don't have to you don't have to charge them practically anything just to get the ball rolling so you get some experience working 
with a real project because I can tell you right now the difference between a hobby project where you can just change your mind whenever you want and a project where you have hard requirements on what has to happen just that experience alone is going to teach you something because it's really easy and usually the saying goes that it's always easier to change the scope of a story than it is to change the code because making the code do what you want depending on what it's supposed to be do is actually very complicated but it's very easy to just say no actually this is working as intended or actually I'm bored with this thing I'm just gonna leave it as is I didn't re this is not exactly what I wanted but it's good enough these sorts of ex excuses that you give yourself when you're working on your own private projects they are the reason where uh, one of the biggest differences between reality and actual professional grade work so what I want you to take away from this is that there is no way for you to go online and find all like some universal way of figuring out if you are a professional software developer or like if you have what it takes for the companies and so forth the trial that you have to go through is basically to apply to a job go through their process and get through that and that can mean many things it can be any like you're not being evaluated on just the fact that you have some knowledge in your head you're being evaluated on how good your CV looks prior experiences what tools do you have and then if you even get and that's usually just the first part then you get into the company and then there are things such as social aspects there are like culture fit things like that and then they might test you on everything from algorithmic things they might be checking out uh, how you are with architecture and like thinking uh, thinking in a broader perspective business like uh, do you understand like how to talk to stakeholders there are so many trends and different ways people test you that's that's it's it, it is impossible for any organization or any group to just say this is how we tell that you are a professional the closest thing you can do is to Go and do the code call us do like coding exercises and see if you can solve these sorts of algorithmic problems because about 50 50 that's your chance to meet one of these sorts of challenges when you go to a job interview if you want to stretch it to the other part where the more realistic problems are coming your way take a look at find, finding like a very small freelancing gig using the tools that you want to be familiar with uh, try to talk to a friend who might want some basic website basically everybody has somebody who wants something built on the web it's not that hard to find that sort of thing and then get some practice in with a live project even if it's not the biggest thing in the world it's going to teach you a lot have a great day